Welcome to this video explaining the basic concepts of Open eLearning software. Open eLearning is an authoring software for creating learning resources and contents. Assuming, you have already installed Open eLearning on your computer. In the launch page you have three buttons. New project. Open project. Extensions. To create a new project, click on the new project option. Get started by choosing a template. The project window provides an overview of the project. The project window is divided into several zones. In the top zone, the menu system that organizes commonly used commands and features into a set of tabs. In center zone, the actual slide in edit mode. In right zone, the slide view panel. How to add slides. Click on the new slide button to add a new slide to your project. To move a slide to another location, click on the edit button. In the right panel, find the slide you want to move. Press and hold the left mouse button on the slide, then drag the slide up or down to where you want to move it. Release the left mouse button when you have dragged the slide to its new location. To delete a slide, click on the edit button. In the right panel, click the slide you want to delete. Press the delete button to delete the slide. How to add transitions between slides. A slide transition is the visual effect that occurs when you move from one slide to the next during a presentation. You can customize the look of transition effects. Select the slide you want to add a transition to. Select Main tab. Click on Page Style. Select Transition Options to choose the nature of the transition. Click to save. Create your custom header bar. There does come a time where you may want to create a header bar that is more customized to the look and feel of your design. To do this, select the default header bar. Click on the edit button. Edit the title. Select a color. And add a logo image. How to insert a text. You can add text to a slide by inserting a text box object. Select main tab. Click on the text area. A text box will appear on your design. After inserting the text box, you can move the text box to the desired location on the slide. Click on the edit button. Edit the text. Click to save. Embed content into Open eLearning. Inline frame is piece of HTML code that creates a frame or window within an HTML page to display content from another URL. In normal view, click the slide that you want the frame to be in. On the data tab, click the frame object on the toolbar. Click on the edit button. In the opening window, enter or paste the URL of the web page element that you want to insert to open eLearning. Click to save. How to use a timer. Timers are handy when you have a time limit you need to be aware of. For example, if you are quizzing your audience, a countdown timer in the presentation will help them know how much time they have left to answer your questions. Select Data tab. Click on Timer. 
A timer object will appear on your design. Click on the edit button. Edit the time. Edit the action. Finally click on the save button. How to insert a picture Adding pictures to a slide helps details be more clear and understandable. Pictures can also help to add excitement and draw interest to the presentation. Select Main tab. Click on the Picture button. In the Insert Picture window, find and select the picture file you want to insert, then click OK. A picture will appear on your design. How to use action buttons You can create an action button using shapes and text within your presentation. When activated, an action button can link to either a specific slide within your presentation, or run a macro program. Select Main tab. Click on Button. An object will appear on your design. Click on the Edit button. Edit the text and action to save. Introducing Smart Blocks Working with a full slide template is great, but sometimes you don't want the entire slide to be preset for you. With Smart Blocks, you get the convenience of pre-designed layouts and the flexibility of picking and choosing each part. When you click on Smart Blocks tools, you will see the Blocks window. Here you can browse through the different available blocks, choosing the one that you need. Click on the Edit button. Edit Texts. Select an image. And save. How to use a checkpoint object A checkpoint object allows you to store the page number it is placed on in memory. You can then use a custom action to return to this page. Select Data tab. Click on the checkpoint. Then, on another page, we can define a custom action for a button. Click on the Edit button. Edit the action. Drag the back to the checkpoint action. Finally click on the save button. Of course, if the learner encounters a new checkpoint during their navigation, the page in memory will be updated. How to insert a custom tab in a slide. Display some additional content in a slide is very easy. Select data tab. Click on the panel slide. A custom tab will appear on your design. Click on the Edit button. Edit the text. Finally click on the Save button.